Good morning. We thank you for tuning in for Carmi Global Ministries. I am Brother Carl Williams. Thank you for tuning in today. We hope this day blesses you. The message come from Dr. Kiki Michelle Stinnifer Williams. And we wish you the best of 2021. We're going to start off today. Psalm 74, first to the third verse. Remember your chosen people. Psalm 74 reads, O oh God, why hast thou cast us off forever? Why do thy anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation. If thou hast purchased a pole, the rod of thine inheritance, which has haste redeemed this Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy have done wickedly in the sanctuary. I read Psalm 74, first verse to the third verse, and Lord have blessing on the reading and the hearing and the doing of his word. At this time, we we'll take it to the throne of grace, prayer, all minds, all heads bowed. We thank you, Lord, for this day, Father. We come to you for the many blessings, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, for lifting us up, O Father. Starting with today's journey, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, for being an awesome God, mighty God, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for healing our land, Father. We pray that our land be healed today, O oh Father. Let us go forth, O oh Lord. Praise your name and thank you, O oh Lord, for what you have done, O oh Lord, bringing us through to see 2021. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the, our family members. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for those that are standing in need of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for going into hospitals, O oh Lord, healing those that's on the sick bed of affliction, O oh Father. We thank you, Lord, for feeding those that are hungry, O oh Lord, giving those who need shelter, O oh Lord, a place to raise their head, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, <clears throat> for being a mighty God that you are, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for just being all that you are to our family members, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, for Leading and guiding us, O oh Lord. Blessing our ministries going forth in 2021, O oh Lord, that we may be able to help someone lift them up, O oh Lord, with kind word, kind deed, O oh Lord, feeding those that are in need, O oh Lord. We want to say thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity, O oh Lord, to share the word, O oh Lord, coming from you, Father. These are the blessings in Jesus' name, the grace we pray. Amen. At this time, we're going to have um, testimony. Coming from young man, we at first have Sydney Finch come up and give a testimony. Good morning, everybody. I don't really have a testimony this morning, but I am thankful that God woke me up every morning to a clear mindset into my mind. Yeah. Amen. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mabel. Um, I'm thankful for God. Like, I thank God for waking me up every morning, starting on the way. I'm going to continue my family throughout the whole pandemic. And, um, amen. I thank God for waking me up this morning, starting on my way, to make a clear mind through the way, through life, and all way. You can never understand. Jesus, amen. We wish to thank uh, Brother Jeremiah Finch. And Sydney Finch and Emmanuel Finch for coming up for the testimony. Everybody has a testimony, Lord. If you don't have a testimony, we're out to cry out for you. You don't want that to happen. So we want to be just mindful that the Lord has blessed you to be alive during 2021. This pandemic put you through whatever it is in life, like ups and downs, Lord. At this time, we're going to bring Dr. Kiki Michelle, but we do want to wish you to 
to uh, join in on with us during our weekly broadcast on Wednesdays and also um, our uh, show uh, that we have also going on, Conversation of the Soul. And um, with, with Dr. Kiki Michelle, myself, and Coach Kendall Anderson. And you can pay your tithes, your offering, you can send it to uh, us at Carca Global. The information is, is shown uh, on screen. And I want you to, if you have any questions about how you can help someone else or make a donation to our ministries, um, help someone in need, we will be having our food drive uh, kick in again uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. Just call it, you get the information. You can reach us um, 444-777-7195 or you can reach myself 470-418-7277. That information and all will be listed uh, on the screen as well. Um, reach out to Dr. Kiki uh, also for quantum uh, talks. Also you call her for that and at quantum talks 8.0 at gmail.com. That's quantum talks 8.0 at gmail.com. At this time, without further ado, we're going to bring to you Dr. Kiki Michelle Sinclair Williams in her own way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Car Key Global. It is just an honor to be with you today. So many people have plans on yesterday for today, and they've been called into judgment. So I'm just thankful for life, health, and strength today. I thank God. Uh, if I could give a testimony, it will be just another day that the Lord has kept me. Yeah. He has kept me with my mind stayed on him. He's kept me from all evil. And I just thank God for that. And I won't be with you too long. I want to share with God. Uh, had given me, and we're going to move it on. Um, as Brother Carlisle stated, we will be doing our food drive this week. So please, uh, if you have benefited from it, or you've been able to share information to others who may need the services, feel free to reach out to us. Um, that information is forthcoming in terms of the time. And we'll, I would also like to say happy birthday. Happy birthday to Dr. Claudia Singletary out in Rochester, New York. Had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to Jason Singletary, the 10th of January. Wanted to let y'all know we love you. We thank God for you. We're praying him uh, mercy and grace towards you for many, many more. I'd like to invite your attention to Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. And it reads, And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So with that one verse, I just want to draw your attention to stay covered. Stay covered, okay? In our present time, we are living through very interesting times. It depends on who you speak with, it is their perception of things. Uh, not only are we seeing those who have been last become first, we are also witnessing those who have been first become last, like a changing of the guards. Uh, we are seeing those who have been written off as never going to be somebody be recognized for huge accomplishments. Those who've been on public assistance and living in government housing are now business owners and living in mansions. The wealth of the wicked 
has been truly transferred to the righteous. It is laid up for the righteous. So we're seeing uh, proof of that transfer as we speak. Please understand that if you have not gotten your blessing yet, it's on the way. Wealth transfer is on the horizon. You've got to believe that and understand that this is something that God has put forth for you, okay? In 2021, we are also seeing the numbers of COVID cases increase. We are seeing the destruction of the pandemic in the news. While some have turned a blind eye to the effects of the pandemic, some know all too well how fragile life can be. People who are seemingly healthy, no health issues, gone. People who everyone probably thought would be gone within a week of the pandemic hitting are still here. Life and death is in God's hand. Hallelujah. Uh, so in our time today, unemployment numbers are increasing and jobs are folding up. And many have given up hopes of better days. Uh, but you got to tell yourself, I'm going to stay covered up under the blood so that I can too see better days. Many prophetic voices have come under fire for getting the results of the election wrong. Many have been exposed as false prophets. Many men and women of the cloth have decided to worship money, fame, and material things men and women, and have in essence forgotten the oaths they have swore before God. See, when you told the Lord, Lord, choose me, I'll go, I'm ready. Lord, if you do this one thing for me, I promise I'll live right. And once he did it, and now where are we? We've actually uh, sold out, but not to God, hallelujah. And, and see, some have decided to take it to a whole new level and are leading double lives. They are living by the book on Sundays and in front of the saints. But when the, the coast is clear, they are fulfilling fleshly desires and have seemingly forgotten that they are the salt of the earth. Ye are the salt of the earth. You can't lose your savior. You are the salt of the earth. Everywhere you go, you are bringing the love and the, the light of God with you. And if you ever decide that you don't want to be the salt of the earth and the light of the earth, then you have a direct conversation that you have to have with God because it's going to ask you, what are you doing? Why didn't you lift my name up? Why didn't you mention me? Why didn't you give me praise and thanks? So because we are living in these perilous times, uh, judgment has come. I have to say judgment is here god said i am destroying all the false gods see there is only one god and his name is jesus and there's a god who created this world he created all of us he took nothing of the earth in genesis chapter one the earth was out was, was without form or void there was nothing that you see today and he actually spoke everything into existence. So I want to tell you, there's only one God who can create and who can uh, decide who lives and who dies. And he's only the one God who, who formed the stars, the moon, and, and gave man the mind to even create what the, the world has evolved into. There's only one God that can breathe life into flesh and into man. There's only one God that can actually say, cease and things cease. He's the only God that can control the waves of the sea. He's the only God that can control your thoughts. You, you think you're on your own, you're doing it yourself, but God is in control. He is in charge. So don't let nobody tell you, oh, well, you should be worshiping Buddha. You should be worshiping uh, Allah. You need to be worshiping the one truly God of this world. And his name is Jesus. The Lord put himself in filthy flesh in the form of Jesus so that he can come and save our souls from sin. That means he was the true and only sacrifice. That means you don't have to get involved in things talking about, oh, you need a sacrifice to move higher. 
No, 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 no. God was the only true sacrifice and he put himself on the cross to shed his blood so that we can live again. Hallelujah. So because God is saying, you guys are way out of line. He's saying, I've been trying to talk to you. I've been trying to reach you. I've been trying to send signals. I've been trying to give you mercy. He said, so now uh, I am now exposing the wolves in sheep's clothing, okay? Because there are people who really and truly want to live right, but they're seeing so-called leaders lead them astray. God said, I'm going to expose the wolves in sheep's clothing. See, what we got to understand is when there was a changing of guards with our government here in the last couple of days with the election, this is now ushering in the second coming of Jesus Christ. So you can pray that certain things don't be, but we're living in revelations. Okay. So it's very important for us to be ready. We can't be getting ready. Can't be talking about, oh, I'm going to do that, you know, once I get a family and I grow up and I live a little. No, you need to make your calling and your election sure now, okay? Uh, see, because there is not a separate book for leaders and then a separate book for parishioners. We must all live holy. There's not something that, okay, we're going to let you get by doing these things, but, you know, they're not on this level yet, so, you know, they can't do this. God said everybody must live holy. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Even those who do not believe in a Jesus. They don't believe in a God. They don't believe in a righteousness. They don't believe. My Bible tells me that every knee shall bow. If you have had knee surgery and your knee don't work, trust me. On that day, your knee is going to bend. You're going to bow. Hallelujah. And, and see, people have said, in their hearts, there is no God. God isn't real. If he was real, why would he allow this to happen? You know, where was he when, you know, my grandmother was going through this? Where was he when my uncle faced that? Where was he when I went through such and such? They foolishly have said in their hearts that God is not real or there is no God. Hallelujah. Uh, and so we must understand that he will do the separating. I want to let you know, even if you haven't voiced that, statement that there is no God, if your life lives contradictory towards the fact that you are a child of God, then you've actually said that in your actions. You've said there is no God in the way that you conduct yourself. You've actually brought shame to the name of Jesus. And God is saying, I've been pleading with you. I've been, I've been begging you. I, I've been withstanding and withholding the hand of the enemy that will seek to sift out your life. I, I've been telling the devil to back up. I've been protecting you in places where you think you're cool and you safe. I've been protecting you because the enemy desires to sift you as we. God said, I will do this separating. You don't have to point it out. Girl, he was over there. Girl, she was over there. We don't have to point it out who's doing what. God sits on the throne. And the thing about it is, as many of us get up early and stay up late and, and move on through the night, we have to understand that God sees all, okay? He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never gets tired. He sees it all. So guess what? He said, I will allow the wheat and the tare to grow together. I'm going to do the separating. See, the wheat and the tare look just alike until it's time to produce, okay? So God said, don't worry about it. I see who's real. I see who's committed to me. I see who wants to make me my name great. I see who wants to reign with me and, and forever and ever in paradise. God said, I see it, but because they will not yield to me, because they think it's cute to dress up on Sunday, like they say, and live like devils all week, God said, I'm getting ready to do the separating. I'm getting ready to put it on the housetop. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. God said, I'm getting ready. Hallelujah. So today I want to tell you, stay covered under the blood of Jesus. If you have strayed from up under the blood and you don't pray like you used to, you don't worship like you used to, you don't believe like you used to, today is the day to make your call in election sure. Understand that God is allowing the enemy to wreak havoc on our world to get our attention. Hallelujah. He said, um, I know what's real. God said, I know what's fake. See, and that's the thing. Sometimes 
we we don't understand we can't decipher what's fake and what's real is 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 the hair real is the hair fake you know is the body real is the body fake you know is the saint real is the saint fake god says i see and i know and i'm exposing hallelujah and see we need to know that god expects certain things from us he expects you to go forth and be great he expects you to make his name great every door that is open for you is not about you it's not because you've been so good it's not about because uh you're just the one god said i'm placing my favor on you i've opened those doors for you i've made a way for you don't you dare get to your destination and not give god the praise don't you dare get to your destination and not say well if it had not been for the lord on my side where would i be god said He's going to reveal to you what he expects from you. Hallelujah. And because God is saying this, we need to be listening. We need to be focused. Let's not be so busy in our day to day moving and shaking that we don't realize that we have a great big God who's concerned about us. We have a great big God who's watching our every move. He's watching our intentions. He's watching our thoughts. He's watching our secrets and, and we got to understand that we are accountable for our thoughts. We may say, well, it just crossed my mind, but I didn't act on it. You are still accountable for what you allow to meditate in your mind. Hallelujah. So that's why we have to be careful what we allow into our gates, what we are allowing into our minds and into our hearts, into our eyes and into our ears. Because even though you say it's cool, it's not affecting me, over time it is affecting you because it's programming you. So we want you to also know that you got to be programmed by God. Get in there and stay covered. Hallelujah. So no ma matter what destruction you see around you, God is saying stay covered under the blood. Hallelujah. And it's not just uh, a sacrifice in terms of the Old Testament where they brought an animal that they had to uh, sacrifice to get their own sins forgiven. God said, I was the perfect sacrifice. God is saying, the blood that I shed for you on Calvary many, 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 many years ago is still is as powerful. And as long as you are my child, you are covered by the same blood. Hallelujah. So guess what? Stay in your word. Ask God for a scripture. Ask God for a song abstain from sin hallelujah get right with god and stop fulfilling the flesh hallelujah keep your heart pure stop fooling yourself that you got this world on the string hallelujah god is getting ready to send judgment that we have not seen before hallelujah and the only way that you can escape is if you stay covered by the blood of jesus we got to stay holy before god we want to make sure that we're seeking God while he may be found. There will come a time when we won't be able to have services, when we won't be able to sing a song that, that gives praise to Jesus. We won't be able to read our word. This is the Bible being fulfilled in Revelation. Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, boys and girls, we are living in the last days. Hallelujah. And, and, and so it's not to frighten you, but it's to actually wake you up so you will see what's going on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. People are saying, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. Well, from today forward, you won't have an excuse. You will be without excuse because guess what? You're hearing this today. God says, I'm coming. Are you ready? Hallelujah. And because we need to be seeking God while he may be found, might be found, God said, when you seek me, you will find me. Because matter of fact, I've just been waiting for you to come to me. I haven't been lost. You're the one who moved. God said, move back to me. Hallelujah. Always know that God knows what he is doing. Uh, just like during storms, seemingly healthy trees snap and fall. You may say, oh, wow, that big tree that was in my yard fell. Oh, wow. I'm just shocked. It may have fallen on the house. It may have fallen the other way. It may have fallen in, the, in destroyed life. But the point is, it fell because the roots were not as deep as it may have appeared, okay? It, it fell because the roots were shallow. It fell because it wasn't truly grounded 
even though it bears fruit, it wasn't truly grounded like it appeared to have been grounded. See, and, and because there wasn't any substance to keep them from being tossed and destroyed, that's why they fell. So men and women of God, we've got to have substance about our lives. We got to get in here and study our word. We got to mind our words. Hallelujah. We, we can't be saying we're a Christian in one breath and then cussing out in the next breath. Okay, we got to say, Lord, I'm going to live for you every day, all day. Hallelujah. And see, we got to understand that some surprises are coming. The tree analogy today is that certain, certain surprises are coming. Those that you thought were living right and living holy and had it going on, God is saying, I'm snatching the cover off of them today. But because I'm doing this and I'm sitting judgment, don't you be distracted. Don't you end up lost. Let me clean up the mess I know that's going on. You just stay in the pocket. You stay in place. Hallelujah. God says, even in the storms that we currently witness, Flip on your TV, look through social media, look on the internet, read the newspaper. Hallelujah. God says, stay covered by the blood of Jesus and you will not be lost in this season. Hallelujah. See, because the person who have decided that they want to live the way they want to live, God is sending judgment. God is saying, I, I, I've been reaching out to you. Well, where are you? God said, I want the best for you. Hallelujah. So God is saying, you do not have to be lost in this season. Stay in the ways of God. Walk upright before the Lord. It doesn't matter what people say. You make sure you are right before God. Hallelujah. And you want to keep God's commandments. Some of the people who are newly saved, they feel like, well, I don't know how. Oh, how, what am I supposed to do to, uh, to really be saved for real? God said, keep my commandments. Look up the Ten Commandments and start making sure you line up to all ten of the commandments. Hallelujah. And you want to make your calling and election sure. See, I'm, I'm a child, but I can't give an account for my parents. And, and, and I'm a mother. I can't give an account for my children. And, and I'm a wife, and I can't give account for my husband. But I can tell you, I, I have to give an account for myself. So long as you keep your own calling and election sure and make sure that there's nothing that offends God in your life, in your mind, in your heart, in your actions, in your intentions. Make sure that God is not going to be dissatisfied when he looks your way. Hallelujah. God is allowing there to be a shaking. God is allowing there to be a storm. God is allowing there to be a shaking and God is allowing there to be a storm to wake people up. The storm, the shaking is not designed to kill you. But if you don't hearken into God, he has sent a short judgment. Hallelujah. So get covered today. Hallelujah. Get covered. Stay covered. Time is now to choose ye this day whom you will serve. See, because I can say I'm going to sit on a fence. I ain't going to make a decision. Now, you know, I got time. I'm trying to decide. But in that choice right there, it's still a choice. Me not choosing a side, I just chose. So God is saying, I'm here. My arms are wide open. I'm drawing you with the cords of love. I love you. I'm excited about you. I want you to prosper. See, thing is that sometimes People don't want to live right as a young person. Hallelujah. They're afraid they're going to miss out on things. But guess what? The enemy desires to sift you as wheat. Give God your prime years. Give God the glory years. Hallelujah. And, and back in the day, you would just think, oh, okay, well, everybody's going to live to be a certain age. Okay, now I ain't got to worry about it because folks don't start checking out into their upper 80s, 90s. Nowadays, babies are dying. Two-year-olds are dying. Everybody in between is dying. So don't, don't decide that you're going to wait and not have the right to the tree of life. God is saying, choose you this day. I'm going to stay covered. I'm going to stay under the blood. I'm going to make God's name great. I'm going to love like I'm supposed to love. I'm going to deny myself. Hallelujah. I'm going to not worry about how people treat me. 
I'm only responsible for how I respond. Hallelujah. God said you can't serve two masters. Either you're going to love one and hate the other, or you're going to hate one and love the other. It ain't no in between. Hallelujah. God said stay covered, get covered. Don't move if you're covered. Hallelujah. You got to make sure that your calling in his election short to stay covered. Hallelujah. So if you don't know God in the pardon of your sins, and you don't know this man named Jesus, and you don't have an understanding of what God is requiring for you, understand this is not no old wives tale. Understand that this is not a uh, foolishness and, and uh, stories to just get you, to, you know, captivated on Sundays. The Bible is real. God is soon to come. And regardless as to what anybody thinks about it, it doesn't change the truth of the matter. So if you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sins, you have to be baptized in Jesus' name. You have to be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2.38 says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is a promise to you. When the Lord was crucified on Calvary years ago, when he died on the cross, he said, I'm going to send my comforter back to you. The Holy Spirit in us is a piece of God with us to keep us until that great day. So we've got to understand, we have to have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit so that when God looks at us, he sees his spirit. When God looks at us, he sees the blood. And see, the thing is, is in our scripture, Exodus 12 and 13, he was sending judgment. And the only way you escape judgment is when there was blood on the, on the doorpost. On either side of the blood of the doorpost was blood. At the top, the lintel of the, the door, the top of the door was blood. That's how when the death angel was released, he knew to skip this house because he saw the blood. So in today's time, your, your physical vessel, your person, your spirit, your soul, your body has to be, and your mind has to be saturated and covered by the blood so that you are not in the line of the impending judgment. God is speaking today. Let somebody know they've got to know who Jesus is. Let somebody know that guess what? You don't know how many days you have on this earth. Everybody has a different number. But we want to make sure that if God calls us anytime soon, that we have made our, our election sure because guess what? There is a heaven and there is a hell. And guess what? There's no let me go get me a drink of water or let me step out and get me some fresh air. Hell burns for eternity, gnashing of teeth. There's, it's, it's a time of sorrow and wailing. People who have died and they were not covered under the blood of Jesus, if they could come back and talk to you, they would say, get in your Bible, get in church, take God serious, because they are already being tormented. Hallelujah. And not even judged yet, but the spirit is, is, is the soul is, is reaching for things that it used to do. And because it can't do it no more, it's a torment. So if, if somebody has gone on and they haven't met the requirements of the Lord, they are in torment. And they will tell you today, get a hold of the Lord. Don't worry about all this other stuff. It's going to pass anyway. But make sure that when God calls your name, you are ready. We want to spend an eternity with our Father. We want to be able to uh, worship around the throne every day, day and night. We want to walk the streets of gold. We want to be able to have a relationship with God such that we are worthy. And when he looks at us, he say, that's my child. When he say, well done, my good and faithful servant, we'll know that he's talking to us. Hallelujah. You can't be responsible for me and I can't be responsible for you, but you need to understand you've got to be responsible. Hallelujah. So today I want to say thank you for listening in to Car Key Global Ministries. Please, if this message has blessed you or the testimonies from our young men have blessed you or our prayer has blessed you, share the video with someone else to encourage their day because truly you've got to stay covered. Hallelujah. If you don't hear anything else, I have said, stay covered under the blood of Jesus. That's the only thing that's going to keep and protect us from the impending judgment. God bless you today.
reason I'm happy, I'm free No longer grieving, I'm no longer sad Thing that used to make me cry, not so bad I'm living, I'm rising I'm happy, I'm free Things that used to worry me no longer bother me Because I really can say that I am free I'm living, I'm rising I'm happy, I'm free In the meantime, through the trials and the tests All I can say is I did my best I'm living, I'm living I'm happy, I'm free Free to thrive, free to live Just the way I am I'm living, I'm living I'm happy, I'm free Free to thrive, free to live Just the way I am VVV is on my chest. Yeah. I had to remain strong, cause I know I'm the best. Right Why would they count? Do nothing less. Had a boss up, you already know I had to fix. Now I'm up, they can't bring me down. They let at me like I was a clown. She yeah. hit my phone, so I know I touched down. All these clips, I'm a drown. All this cash, I'm walk with a frown. My AP two tone, and bust down. Bend my mom, go hit ice box. BS ones, you know they bit rocks. Blue drip down to the socks. I'm the one she playing on the box. I'm living. Free to thrive, free to live, just the way I am.